A Finley woman nearly dies while cutting the grass. The 61-year-old woman is in critical condition at St. V's in Toledo after a semi-truck veered off I-75 and slammed into her backyard. This happened last night about 8.45 near milepost 161 in Finley. The home's in the 3200 block of Cross Hill Drive. 13 ABC's Christine Long is in the backyard of the woman's home along the highway with more on the wild accident. Diane, I have never seen an accident quite like this. If you take a look back there, you can still see the lawnmower underneath debris. The 61 year old was also buried. She was trapped face down. You can only see her feet. Now, thankfully, her husband, grandson and other drivers who pulled over were able to free her before emergency crews arrived. 61 year old Nikki Poofty, a retired nurse from Findlay, loves to landscape. She likes to mow the yard for exercise. That mower is now part of the wreckage in the family's yard, which backs up to I-75. And my wife was finishing mowing the yard when we heard this great big noise and stuff, and then all of a sudden, the end of my garage goes blowing, coming out. Their grandson, who leaves for boot camp in two weeks, found Poofty in the rubble. And he had called and said, Mom, Grandma's been hit by a truck. Poofty's daughter-in-law rushed to the house. And if you can't mow your grass in your own yard and feel safe, then what could you do, you know? State troopers say the driver of a semi truck lost control while heading north on 75 and drove off the right side of the highway, hitting a chain link fence, a utility pole, and the garage. Flying parts of the garage, its contents, and a large wooden privacy fence hit the 61 year old as she mowed the lawn. Just one of them unfortunate circumstances, you know. It just the wrong place at the wrong time. The driver of the semi, 66 year old Philip Ewing, was cited for failure to control. He was wearing a seatbelt, and alcohol is not suspected. Poofty suffered broken bones and punctured organs all over her body. Her daughter in law found Poofty's bracelet near the mower. She calls the nurse and paramedic who off duty stopped while on the highway angels. We, we cannot thank you enough for helping my mother in law. And, um, but needless to say, uh, she's not in real good shape, but she is alive. The family says when Poofty arrived at the hospital, doctors and nurses actually thought she had been in a motorcycle crash. They say she has a very long road to recovery. Reporting from Finley, Christine Long, 13 ABC, Action News. And the driver of that semi was treated at the scene and then released. The victim's husband suspects that he blew a tire. Troopers say the crash, though, still under investigation.